Good evening, my lovely companions, and welcome to Stories with Salix. Night off the bookshelf, Wild, a mythical wings, found on an archive of her own. Light, bright white light pierces him, his mind. It's too bright. It rings in his ears. It's so bright, consuming whatever has reached out to him. Something whispers, speaks, yells to him, calling out for him. But the light, open your eyes, feminine and strong. The whisper finally reaches his ears, cutting through the ringing, but only barely. Finally, finally, the white light fades until it is swallowed by soothing blue. Open your eyes! This time, he fills his ears, his head. He cannot disobey it. Cool liquid coats him, submerged just below the surface. Blue light shining above him as his eyelids crack open. Strange liquid doesn't sting his eyes, should it? But his lungs seize and burn in urgent demand. He reaches out, flails, really, his fingers catching the edge of the shallow pool basin. His other hand braces on the bottom of the pool to heave himself up, mouth dropping open to suck in haggard breaths, pulling himself to the edge, pulling air rot havoc in the same lungs that so desired the air. His hair sticks to his forehead, his cheeks his neck as he retches, inhaling thin gasps of air between hacking up the same liquid he had been suspended in. It feels too long before his body no longer rejects the air he pulls in, resting against the edge of the pool as the pain in his chest and lungs and abs eases him to nothing. He's shaking, cold, weakness, exhaustion. While he recuperates, half out of the pool that is slowly draining, Fingertips find raised groves, dig in, and he's hauling himself onto wobbling legs. His entire body feels heavy, strange, uncooperative. Climbing over the low edge of the pool nearly sends him into the floor, but slaps echoing into the caverns in this space, flat and heavy. The falling droplets of water. Is it water? Sounds so much sharper in his ears in the absence of the voice that had awoken him. Stone chills the soles of his feet, stretching right up to the organic curved walls highlighted by more blue and striking yellow lights. The longer he looks around, the more details and colors peg themselves out. Shivers crawl over his skin. Odd tightening over her skin when fine hairs stand on end. He was awake, his eyes open, but where was he? Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to know ways that I can improve this and make it better. <laughs> and in the meantime, take care of yourselves, yeah? Have a good evening. Goodbye.